Hi, so I found a project here that sounds interesting. It's a Colat sequence generator in Python. I've been making my way through the book Automate the Boring Stuff by Al Swigart. I'm trying to learn Python at the moment. If you want to learn Python programming as well, I highly recommend this book. It's been great so far. It covers all the foundational stuff. I managed to find it online for free. I'll leave the steps I followed to get it in the description box. This book has coding projects for you to do as you progress through it. This Colat sequence project is from the end of chapter 3. The Colat sequence is a series of mathematical operations that you can do to any positive integer and you'll eventually reach 1. What you do is input a number, if it's even, divide it by 2, if it's odd, multiply it by 3 and add 1. And you take the result and do the same again and again until you reach 1. I'll give an example. Say we input 10, that's even, so we divide it by 2 and get 5. 5 is odd, so we multiply by 3 and add 1, giving 16. 16 is even, divide by 2. 8 is even, divide by 2. 4 is even, divide by 2. 2 is even, and finally we arrive at 1. And this works for any whole number greater than 0, we always arrive at 1. So we're going to code up a function in Python to do this for us, then we can test some numbers. First, I'll open up idle. It's just a small project, so we should be able to get away with doing it here. In Python, you make a function by using the def keyword. We're going to call our function colats, and we pass a number into the function. If the remainder when we divide by 2 is 0, that means it's an even number, so we should return the number divided by 2. I'm pretty sure this double slash means divide and then floor the result. We could use a single divide here and it would do the same thing since we're dealing with an even number and the result's always going to be a whole number anyway. Then I'm going to use an elif statement for if an odd number has been passed to the function. Number modulo 2 equals 1. Here we return number times 3 plus 1. and an else statement for if something goes wrong, we'll return none and print something went wrong in colats so that we know. Now we're done with the function, we're gonna prompt the user to enter a number and then we'll pass that number to colats. At the moment, Colats returns half of an even number, or three times an odd number plus one. We need it to continue until it reaches one. Mm. I think I'll use a while loop to do this. Uh, another solution would be to rewrite the Colats function to be recursive. It would keep running Colats on itself until it reaches one. Okay, while loop. If number does not equal one, what am I doing? While number does not equal one. Colat's number, print number. And we should print the original number here. And then we need to print it once it's one. Save and run. And we got an error. Oh, the user input is a string. We need to typecast it as an integer and then we'll run it again. <laughs> I was stuck in a while loop. If this ever happens to you in idle, you can break out of the infinite loop by going to shell, restart shell. Why wasn't it working? Mm. Oh, I know what it is. I didn't assign Colat's number to anything. We need number equals Colat's number. Okay, what have we got? The Colat sequence of 3 is 3, 10, 5, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. That matches the solution, nice! 
All right, let's try some other numbers. I want to try a crazy long one. All right, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, consider subscribing. And don't forget that I left a step-by-step -step guide on how to get this book for free in the description box for anyone interested in learning Python. See ya.